Let's test some TikTok makeup hacks. How good are they? Do they improve our life? Let's try them out. So let's start with the mascara hack. It's supposed to give you longer and fuller looking lashes, but you need concealer and a setting powder, like a loose translucent setting powder. So let's apply just regular mascara on this side, but you know what? I figured I would also do a primer. You think that's fair? Yeah. I think it's fair. Both lashes are curled, right side primer and then mascara, and then left side will do the hack. Primer, L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. Rare Beauty Mascara. So concealer on this side first. I'm just gonna try to do a tiny bit, kind of like I did the primer. Kind of focus on the tips, like you can see it right there. I'm going to take a disposable mascara wand. I'm gonna put it inside quickly and then load it up with powder. I don't know why I did this in the cap. Why did I think of that? It's okay, I can wash it. <laughs> I'm just talking to myself. So they loaded the mascara wand with powder, translucent powder, and then they dipped it back in to get the mascara. And now let's go for it. It's, it had a easier time with the actual primer instead of the concealer with the powder. No, it doesn't because it's not really, it's not attaching itself as well. I'm trying to go on the side and kind of comb underneath. It's clumpier on this side. Like the formula looks drier. <laughs> Yeah, it's a fail in my opinion. This side looks so much better. The lashes are still lifted with the primer, with the mascara, and this side it's a little more droopy just because I'm applying a lot more product. But okay, I can kind of see where they're going with this. But just go for a lash primer, honestly. There's so many good lash primers on the market, L'Oreal being one of them. One layer face products. So it's essentially applying everything at the exact same time in its specific location and then blending it out kind of in steps, but all together at the same time. I kind of want to compare it one to one and see the typical way I would do it. Let's apply my concealer first. So this, is, this is the way you would do it. No, 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 this is the hack. This is the hack. Correct. Okay, makeup on Mario. I mean, there might be a problem from working time. What do you mean? I'm gonna suck my dry up before you put everything on. Well, that's why you have your setting spray. My face base. All right, so they say setting spray. I'm just using Dominique. Okay, she first used the sponge to blend out her concealer. I'm just gonna take this down right here. Okay, and then she took a brush and kind of blended out the foundation. Honestly, I would just use one brush for all of it. Let's take this, start blending this. I think this is good for if you're really in a hurry. And then I'm just gonna blend these two together and kind of bring it up into the concealer. I'll come back to that. I might need to wet it a little bit more. Sponge, work this in. I mean, it's not really taking less time blending out. I feel like it all kind of just blended into one, right? Let me quickly do this side right here. So first step, apply a little bit of my face base. I'm just gonna use the same brush, honestly. Apply my concealer. I'm just using the F1 face brush. And this product is really awesome. It's super blendable, 
Very creamy. It's pigmented enough, but also build buildable. Blend out the concealer. And then apply blush. Like that. Makeup of Mario, their Pale Petal. I'm just gonna take that brush that I applied my foundation with and just work that into the brush and just stamp it onto my cheeks. What do we think? I mean, that was approximately the same time both sides, but, the, but your way has control and precision. I feel like there's a lot of product missing on this side. Yeah. It doesn't look finished and it doesn't look as blended. Yeah, you have to go back and add products that you want. So Andre said, I spent almost the exact same time blending both sides out. I will say, I think there are elements that I like blending things out together on my face all at once. But then at the end of the day, I don't have as much control and precision, but I do like having multiple products on my face and then blending them out separately. Like I said, my concealer and then my bronzer or contour, just to kind of have my concealer warm up and melt into my under eyes a little bit more while I blend out the bronzer or contour. There's a plus and a minus to blending everything out at once or having everything on your face at once. I could see it, I could see it. Let's try the invisible eyeliner hack. It's basically using concealer to create this eyeliner effect to your eyes and using your natural color of your eyelid. She just takes it on the brush like so, and then creates the first line. It's kind of, I would be cleaning my, my eyeliner, and then she takes it at the top as well. Try to keep it somewhat precise. Maybe a little bit like that. And then I take another brush and gently buff this out or blend this out and just soften the concealer. I think I messed it up, but you can kind of see it. Do you see it? A little bit. Yeah, I kind of want to do it a little bit longer like that and then just softly blend this out. I mean, you can see it. It looks interesting, you're like, wait, what is that? Is that eyeliner or something else? I mean, this looks better when you do a little bit more intense. When you open your eyes, it It's very subtle. Is it a hack? Yeah, this is actually kind of cool. I think if you have darker eyelids than the rest of your eye or around your eye, um, yeah, it's actually, it's kind of cool. I think if you want something there, I don't know, just will I ever do it? Probably not. It's, it's cool, it works. <laughs> so this next one is a hack for a long lasting lip liner. So they used the tattoo brows. So I'm not going to tint my eyebrows today. We're going to tint and outline my lips. So this is by Maybelline and this is their tattoo brow. And I just got the shade, what do we get? Light brown, but it's an easy peel off tint. One of the girls did it only for three minutes and then some of the other girls did it for like 10 to 15 minutes. Let's do five. <laughs> what do you think? We'll do like a little compromise and do five minutes. Yeah. And I think this is where you do have to be somewhat precise. Three minutes, I decided, since I took a little bit of time to draw them in as good as I could. <laughs> Let's do it three minutes and then we'll peel it off. Ooh, I'm nervous, but I think it's gonna work. It might look really bad, but it might work. <laughs> okay, let's peel it off. Ah, oh, goodness. Oh, that is satisfying. All of it came off at once. Oh, wow. <laughs> She's on there. <laughs> what do we think? That actually worked. I'm gonna apply a little bit. Should I apply some lipstick? 
thinking I should do this one. Let's apply some lip balm. Let's just go with the Rare Beauty in shade Nearly Neutral. Let's just apply some lip balm. I mean, uh, lip gloss. I honestly think you could just go for like 60 seconds and be, you know, be done if you want something super subtle because you can't blend that in. <laughs> Andre, what do we think? Pretty good act. That actually works. I mean, that actually looks really pretty. I did, I think, a little bit too thick. Next time, if I actually really like this, I'm gonna do really thin. I'm gonna apply some lipsticks that would somewhat match this lip liner. Let's take Juvia's Place in hashtag 2020. That actually looks really good. So this is what the lips look like the next day. And there's still a little bit of lip liner left, but most of it got removed last night when I took off my makeup with the cleansing balm and then just the regular gel cleanser. I think leave it on for longer if you want it to last longer, but not bad. Lasted all day long. <laughs> Let's do a Selena Gomez eyelash hack. I saw this one and it kind of went viral. And she basically took a pair of tweezers and used mascara, I think just her mascara, got mascara on the pair of tweezers, and instead of applying mascara directly to your lower lashes, she just took the tweezers and kind of clamped the lashes. Um, is that supposed to grab more mascara? Cause it's not really doing much to my lashes. <laughs> Maybe I'm just not applying en enough. Oh, okay, kind of. That's that's. I think you just need a lot more mascara than I had. So to kind of give like a nice separation. That kind of worked. Okay, I just applied some mascara to the other side, just going vertical. This with her wand. And I think this side is supposed to kind of give you more like that '60s separated lash look. That's kind of cool. More precision, you know what I mean? That's nice. I wouldn't even think of that. That's genius. That is a hack, in my opinion. Favorite hack, the lip liner hack. It actually works, it's a hack, but I'm really curious if it is going to last all day long because that's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see the next one very soon. Bye.